Okay, Super League has voted to scrap the Super 8's format. This will also have a knock-on effect for the Championship in League 1. Um, the Super 8 was introduced in 2015, and it has been an, a controversial um, format to finish the season. Uh, it actually overcomplicates the promotion relegation system that Super League has in place. The Championship, uh, as part of this scrapping, will grow to 14 teams from next season, and two teams will go up from League 1, and two teams will be relegated from the Championship from 2019 onwards. Also, on the same token, the promotion relegation system, the Championship to Super League is one up in the Championship and one down from Super League. It simplifies the system. And this has partly been done, partly because it was it was it it didn't attract great crowds to Super 8s and there there was a lack of, you know, it was unpopular and, and lacking interest for casual rugby league fans and it, it did over it did over complicate um the the, the the end of the season. Um they have this T V deal coming up uh, in a couple of years and obviously they want to sell the T V rights. If you have a simple system, um it's pretty easy for scheduling on, on both subscription TV and free to air. Another issue is you have the Challenge Cup format, which you don't have in the NRL. The NRL just has the regular season and then finals football. Over here, you've got the regular season, the Challenge Cup, and then the runoff to the, the Super League Grand Final, and as it was, the Super 8s format. Also, the, the game over here, the sport over here in Europe, has grown to encompass teams from Canada and France in the Super League structure. So travel would be an issue for some of these teams as well. Um, also fixture congestion because you play the Challenge Cup. Um, and, and with a lot of games, a lot of players get injured. And you know that, that, that means you've got injured talent that's costing you money on, on the injured reserve table that you've got to pay. Um, and Rugby League is, is not as, as, as wealthy as Rugby Union uh, and, uh, and football. And ice hockey is starting to nick fans as well who, who like team sports. The only plus side for rugby league is it's played in summer and all the other sports that I mentioned are played in winter. But there is a problem. It doesn't get a lot of TV coverage. It's Only the Challenge Cup is on free-to-air TV, which is a problem. So it is reliant on subscription TV from Sky for its TV rights and the limited TV rights from the BBC uh, for the Challenge Cup. So TV rights are a crucial sticking point. They need to really try and you know market the game uh, not enough of the the lower form lower leagues the championship and league one uh, games are on um tv which is another issue because they have reduced revenue streams so getting money is a problem for the uh for the sport uh and exposure and over complicating the system puts off casual fans who may want to you know get involved with the sport the fact that two-thirds of all rugby league clubs in the UK and, and obviously across in France and, and in Canada um, voted to scrap the system says it wasn't working for the majority of teams. And it really wasn't. It was an overcomplicated system that was unnecessary. Um, a simple system normally works the best. For some reason, in, in the last 20-odd years, both rugby union and, and rugby league and some other sports have tried some of these harebrained schemes to try and attract fans. Cricket's trying it with the 100-ball format. You don't need to come up with these crazy schemes to attract fans. Keep things simple. Make sure that the, the actual action on the field is exciting. But keep the league system, the league structure simple. Keep the cup competition simple and fans will buy in. Overcomplicating it actually puts fans off. Um, yeah, the pre and post match entertainment, of course, have that. But the league structure should be as simple as possible. It gets fans in the gate. Um, and, and the fixture list would also be quite simplified. If you overcomplicate it, it does put fans off. This is what cricket's finding problems with the 100 ball format and rugby union. Yes, they've got a playoff system now for the you know the best team in the league may not actually win uh, the rugby union final premiership final, and that is a controversial decision as well. Um, but overcomplicating it with the super eights format was a really poor poor move on my part. I was never a fan. I felt it overcomplicated and, and a lot of players were overused. So they were actually really in, a, in poor physical shape at the end of the season. They played a lot of rugby league in very hot conditions as well because Super League decided to move to the summer from 1995. And that, that, that you know means that when European football tournaments um, and World Cups and the Cricket World Cup next summer 
and you will have the Olympics and other big sporting events like that will clash with it on a regular basis. Even though on the regular humdrum league games it's fine, but they will clash with some of these big international sporting events. And then they are making less money than rugby union football, and ice hockey is growing rapidly, and ice hockey's got a new free-to-air TV deal, and we've seen massive growth in that sport. I know it's nowhere near as big as rugby league yet, but it is growing. And rugby league has to look over its shoulder when it comes to its next TV deal. Um, I love the promotion relegation system we have in the majority of European sport. It was what makes the sport even more entertaining in my eyes. Um, because if you're the worst team in the league, you can't afford to tank because you'll get a draft pick. If, you, if you're the worst team in the league, you go out of that league and you have a massive financial penalty by getting relegated. Also, it gives an incentive for the teams in the league below to be the best in their division to go up because of the financial incentives. But yeah, the Super 8s is gone um, and two thirds of clubs voted to remove it. So there we go. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, place your comments below and I'll have some more videos for you soon.